All right. So welcome to today's stand up. We are on day three of week 11. And, um, you know, I hope that we are all doing well. We're still energetic for the week for just a few days that are left. And um, yeah, I hope that we are also progressing well, but let's hear it from you. Before that, um, any announcements? Let me check. So just announcements that if you have not created your careers, um, your careers channel, please remember to do so today uh, because that's where all communications regarding um, detailed feedbacks as we go into the job application phase, that's where they're going to be passing. And of course, even future conversation around any jobs that you will be applying on, just anything, that's where it's going to be passing. So if you haven't done so, remember to do so, at least right after this stand up. Okay, other than that, so I think uh, everything else is business as usual. Um, yeah, no more, yeah, no more announcements. All right, so let's go straight into the stand up. Uh, you tell us how was yesterday and um, any blockers or any challenges faced, you tell us so that we can have a discussion about it. We can go with the people who wants to go first, you can raise your hands. All right, Shamil. Uh, sorry, I, it was uh, actually a question. So on the Slack channel, uh, who are we inviting? No. Sorry. You, are, you are inviting nine people. Uh, it should be written somewhere. It should be okay. written somewhere in the form that you received. Let me check. But you should be inviting nine people. That means um, all the technical tutors and uh, all the career tutors, plus Rhodes, plus Arun. Yeah. Um, okay, let's see, yes, Martin. Uh, good morning, Pascaline. Good morning. Yeah, so I, I wanted to just ask, uh, what's the invite thing about? The invitation or anything about what's that about what is it about yeah because i've been i haven't uh i haven't understood the uh, i haven't understood what he asked so everyone is supposed to create their career channel i'm trying to look for that specific form but people say like selamawit people like mr michael they have already created theirs. Salamois, can you give us an overview? Or Michael or Mr. Yes, overview for what? Uh, of the groups that you're creating. Okay, I found the announcement too. But yeah, Miss Steele, go ahead. Uh, so uh, on the folder that Rhoda shared, uh, there was a, a task for us just to create a career team group, including the tutors and the, the technical tutors and the career. Uh, that's why I created. Any specific question about that? Wanda, did you get it? Oh, yes, yes. So it's part of the career for this week. No, it's not. It's for the rest of the application phase. Okay, 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 okay thank you. Yeah. Um, Truck selection form. One second, one second. Okay, so let me show you quickly. Mm 
Okay. So can you see my screen? Okay. Yes, we can. So this is the document. You can find it here in uh the the, the specific co contents cohort B drive where you or I mean you usually get um all documents regarding the challenges of all weeks and then you come here in the career content week 11 check the track selection form uh, sorry the choosing a track form and then read through it when you get on the very last slide um let's see okay when you get on the last page it has these urgent key activities that are that we do yesterday actually so ensure that you work on them since the deadline has already passed so you have to create a group on slack and you add Arun, Rodas, me, Nathaniel, Maggie, Mariam, Emtina and Rehmet there should be Nathaniel oh yeah yeah Nathaniel and then also note that there must be nine people in the group including yourself and then rename the group by your first name, last name, and then careers team. Then send a confirmation text to the group saying, at here, I received the track selection guide document and evaluation form, and I will review them and ask any questions I have before the due date, which is tomorrow, 8 p.m. UTC. So let's ensure that we go through this document, uh, check what's up here, and also work on this specific activity, easy one. Okay. Yep, that is it. I hope that is clear now. Great, then we can get started. Who wants to go first with the reporting? Anyone, how was yesterday and um, any blocker or any point of discussion? All right, Martin, go ahead. Yeah, um, good morning, everyone. So yesterday was uh, was quite productive for me. Um, I was still reading some of the, the source material. I had uh, started working on the rug. Uh, I was doing task two, but then uh, we had um, a discussion with some of the some of the the, the members. We had like a, like a meet, and it was very very helpful. I got. Uh, a resource that I worked on at night and it was really, really helpful. Yeah, so I don't really have any blockers yet. Yeah, but I'm making I'm making progress for the on the tasks. Okay, amazing. Keep it up as well. Um yes, Shamil, you wanted to go next. And also you can tell us how was the yesterday joint conversations as well. Any comments? Okay, uh, so yesterday's session was, yeah, as Mar Martin uh, mentioned, it's, it was really productive. It gave us, for me, it gave me multiple perspective. Uh, also, the some things I missed were uh, outlined in the uh, in the meeting so yeah there was a question and answers so i hope to uh, do them much more often uh, or one more time so if anyone is willing so to is 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 it was very uh, great at uh, seeing multiple perspectives uh, getting answering questions so understanding yeah like that that was really uh, great. So, I, I hope to see more more people engaged in having their uh, thoughts up there and questions. So, uh, yeah, uh, I think it was all in all more productive and gave us perspective on on the meeting part. Okay, that's amazing. Yeah, I keep the joint conversation meetings keep happen. 
at least sometimes in a week uh, since I saw that it got really good reviews just from in everyone, almost from a few people actually who shared on Slack. But yeah, to the others, you can also let us know. Um, yeah. yeah. So okay. I, I actually thought not this much people who will join, but most most joined. So yes. Uh, so as for my progress, I uh, I incorporated the perspectives or the comments I I got from the yesterday's meeting. I tried to implement them. Uh, I'm I'm actually will start the tasks. I think today I I started on the, in the morning. So yeah. So one of one of the blockers maybe if the technical team is here, one of the blockers I had was. They, they, there are JSON files uh, uh, that are found that are shared in the documents or on the drive. So, can can someone explain to me what those are for? Uh, I, I skimmed through some of the questions, but the question and answers that are that are found on the JSON doesn't seem to be doesn't seem seem to make sense or doesn't seem to be the answer. So. I'm I'm a little bit confused on that. Also, there are uh, yesterday we had uh, a discussion on that. So uh, there are HTML files. So can you uh, can extrapolate on that? Yeah, uh, it's not actually related with legal contract files. It's just something internal and added. If you want to also discover the policy plus type, you can use that file. So if you confuse you don't have to use that. Just focus on the legal PDFs shared by Lizzie. So yeah. Also the JSON files. So it seems like this, those questions are for the HTML. So the answers doesn't seem to make sense. Or I I thought those are those questions and answers were for evaluation of the HTML files. So I'm I sorry, think, you are searching on the data for the right? Evaluation yes. Right? Yeah. So you're talking the Q and A on the files? Yeah, the test JSON and uh, Dave JSONs. Yeah. JSON, okay. I'm, I'm trying to see it on the drive. I see on the evaluation set, the after contract and the queen station. They are all doc files. Uh, two, four of them are doc files. Two of them are question, two, uh, two of them are the context. Okay. Those you are okay with, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Which is the other one that you are referring, the JSON one? Okay, uh, the extra eval data set? Yes. <clears throat> yeah, okay. You just leave it it's just an ad okay. additional uh data set and then just added uh just leave it Let, let's okay. just say that one in simple terms focus okay. on the evaluation set data okay thank you very much <laughs> okay all right, uh, let's continue. Who's ready to go next? Yes, Hilary. Good morning, everyone. Um, yeah, yesterday, we I joined the session. Uh, uh, Bakar Kreta started, initiated, so it was a great one. Uh, learning on these sites. I didn't notice even the evaluation sets. But if um, uh, so, I have, I have a question on that. But uh, before I get to that, I, I also I didn't uh, read through the uh, challenge. Uh, I, I mean, I read through until some part. I didn't get to the end. So I'm um, I'm trying to work on the careers. Uh, I've started working on it. Um, I'm planning to complete it. And so, and the question about the so, um the, the question about the evaluation because i'm trying to use ragas to to test uh i'm saying set up ragas uh if we were to use it what 
is the essence of the train, the JSON. Um, so my my thoughts were like it is used to fine fine tune the model or something like that, because in this case we only need a test uh, a test set of or, or an evaluation set. So if we were to use that, uh, what what will be the essence of the three different files, the dev, the test, and the trained JSONs? Because they are similar in structure, having question, answer, and one or, one or two of them having context as well. So I think this JSON is confusing everyone. I'm going to invite Intenan and I'm going to tell you to, to tell her to say something on the data from the JSON file. but. The one that Lizzie provide for this challenge project is the evaluation data set. So you can focus on that one. That one is just added as an additional information, separate with legal. If you can see the data, it's on policy. It's not similar with the challenge. I mean, the data given by Lizzie, but just focus on the evaluation data set. But I will make sure Internet to provide her perspective on the data she shared. Thank you, thank you. Uh, All right, Hillary, uh, who's ready to go next? Raise your hands. All right, we have Ahmed. Uh, if you're also ready somewhere, somewhere, raise your hand so that you can go next after Ahmed. Hello, good morning, everyone. I hope you can hear me clearly. Yes, we can. OK, cool. Uh, yesterday, I was working on uh, uh, the project. I also joined uh, the session that uh, Abu Bakr met. Uh, it was useful. Uh, um, approach I will use. So I, I will try to apply what I understood today so I can submit something uh, something having a meaning so i think that's all thankfully i i don't have uh, any blockers until now all right all right keep it up ahmed um how about sharing a music? Hello everyone. So yesterday was great. I was able to learn uh, a lot about the different advanced mechanism for the retrieval. I'm planning on working on practically on the retrieval and uh, finalizing on which approach I will use. Yeah. Thank you. Amazing. Keep it up on this as well. Uh, Joseph. Uh, good morning. Um, so yes, yesterday um, I was still trying to understand the project. Um, I watched a few recordings of the uh, the daily stand-ups that I missed on Monday. Um, so today I look forward to trying and um, implement the project as well. Pick a few of my colleagues' brain and uh, ask them for a few pointers. The career career. Careers and the career activities. I'm yet to look at the uh, documents. Okay. All right. Please do so. Um, who's ready to go next? And also, if you have any blocker, please raise it. Okay, Johannes. Yes, you can go. Good morning, everyone. So for me, yesterday was somewhat good. Uh, I spent a lot of time trying to install 
sentence transformer and it wasn't working for me. Uh, but the uh, session we had uh, last night was great. It was good to see other people perspective and understanding. And this morning I created just simple uh, Q&A streamlit, streamlit app just to see if my components works. But I'm still, the implementation wasn't great. Uh, I'm planning to use, uh, for example, to use chain and something like that. And for the blockers, uh, uh, I'm having issue with power and network. Yeah, I don't think you can help me with that. Okay, uh, Johannes, how are you planning to work around it? Any public space you can visit? Uh, I don't know, like, uh, uh, it's not consistent, like it will work now, uh, especially the network, it will work now and maybe later we will stop. Uh, I don't have a solution now, but hopefully it will be better. Oh no, come again, come again. I'm saying like the issue isn't isn't consistent. Uh, like for example, with the power, uh, the power will go on for some time. And I think the issue is in our city, the entire city. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. All right, try to see how you can work around it, if you can predict when it comes and when it goes off. Yeah. Um, we can yeah. hear from Yabis. Yeah, sorry, can I interrupt? Yeah, yeah, Rahmat. Yeah, so Imtanan is here. Maybe Hilary, you can repeat the second question you have. Or the Jason that has it, she can help out. Okay, uh, <clears throat> so my, my question was, we have the HTML, um, so we have the HTML files um, that that you can put as you, you can put in our vector database and the def JSON there's a, so as a folder with JSON files dev train and test um, what, what are could you explain to us what they are used for and also yeah. and also since if I use Ragas I probably only need one that has question and uh, in the answer, which is the ground truth, and I just talk over the rest. Uh, could you explain us why, what you can use them for? Maybe train could be fine tuning model, I don't know. Um, okay, so um, it's uh, uh, not, not this is, it's not uh, like provided for, for you to fine tune a model, really. It's just, um, so the JSON files, uh, as you said, includes uh, um, uh, questions, answers, and the context, basically, uh, the passage from where the answer is, is collected. And uh, basically, this the whole data set can be used as an evaluation set. Um, so the division into like uh, dev train and and test this is just from the source from of the data itself so it's not um you don't need to like pay attention to that too in particular so as you mentioned there are, are HTML files which are these are the privacy policies themselves so this is a document that you can load to your vector uh, database and uh, from the json files you can collect um uh, questions, answers, uh, um, like uh, and context triplets that you can use basically for evalu for evaluating the RAC system. Um, so it's similar to what um, you have in your um, main evaluation data set. That's the one you have two documents, like basically the legal contract and the question and answers from in a, in in a different document. These are just similar. It's just a different format, and it's um, not legal contracts. These are privacy policies, which I mean, uh, it would provide an enhancement to the data set you have for evaluation. Uh, like we, 
we, we couldn't find uh, legal contracts available. Um, so privacy policies were the best, ne the next best thing, basically. So that we consider them to be close enough that maybe if you test your system on these, it can also like provide you like of some kind of um, a useful metric for how well your system works. Basically. So does this answer the question in general? Yeah. Um it's kind of ambiguous again like can we use the test like one can you use one of the json file as a standalone without the other let's say train can i use only train as a evaluation because it has question and answers and yes. also yeah okay okay and also on the context uh because we are trying to test our chunking strategies and that way this context will not be the same as when we use our own Ranking strategy different one so i think um i think is not relevant we because we still have to generate our own context yeah is the thing that is that uh, yeah so or okay so basically like uh, if you want you can use this you can use the context itself as like um to compare the context that you get from from your ruggers with the context that provided here but it's also possible to discard the context in in the data set and just work with the question and answer um so yeah that's different even like um i think uh, uh like the original data set has uh, like a, a version that doesn't have context that have only question and answer like and then we provided this because um and this is just like a more complete if you want to do more basically uh, but yeah you can you can discard that part so and also like this is something like maybe we, we could have prepared the data set in that way but like um this is something you can do yourself now you can see that uh for in the data set the file so the corresponding file name the privacy policy uh, is referred in the json file in in like um, it's one of the fields, it's like, a, I think it's called a file name, exactly. So basically, instead of taking the whole data set, because it's, it's like, like um, it concerns all of these privacy policies, you can work with one or few of the privacy policies. You can collect only the question and answer that uh, um, concerns these privacy policies, and you can just filter your data using the file name field um okay so is that clear yeah that is clear uh, i've also got a uh, different use case for the concept context thank you yeah okay oh uh, yeah best. okay good morning uh, yesterday, I was uh, trying to build uh, a rad pipeline and uh, using different strategies. Then I was trying to evaluate it using the uh, bagas and to see uh, that the change I made uh, on the strategies have impact on the um, uh, evaluation. Uh, that was what I'm doing. In, uh, I don't think I have a major blocker i just have to figure out to the best strategies and different strategies i either uh, on multi query or uh, using uh, the chunking strategies to get the best uh, rag pipeline so i'm i'm trying to figure that out uh, that's it thank you okay all right keep it up as well yeah this um so we we passed time with, with two minutes but if you have any question you want to raise before we close this is the time anyone I I yeah okay. so uh on the open AI key that was given most of you are using the 3.5 version gpt so we just want to let you know you can use the version four as well. I mean the 
GPT-4. So use that. Okay, that's all. Thank you. You ready? Okay. Um, so on that note of GPT-4, I've noticed that it, if we if we go on testing the different chunking strategies, we may end up using a lot of like because last time I I end up using a lot of tokens and incurred a lot of costs. So uh, is that still covered? Because if you are testing different chunking strategies, we we end up like uh, without. Yeah, I mean, try to use workaround. Maybe save the first chunk on some vector database, right? So you can just, you don't have to do it multiple times. So you can put in on some catch uh, the first embedding. Uh, other than that, the the GPT-4 has more tokens than the 3.5. So that's an advantage. I mean, there's nothing we can do about it. It's just they have token limits, all of them. And uh, it's just what it is. Like. So try to use cache meters to grab your first embedding files or chunk files so you can you don't have to redo it all over again and again. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. So one last announcement is that um today we have another guest from Tenacious Intelligence and he has a session today. He's also an alumni. So let's keep an eye on the schedule on when it's going to happen and um, ensure that we attend on time. Okay, that is it. Um, have a great day, everyone. Thanks for joining.